Historic day in Manhattan where opening statements are set to begin in former President Donald Trump's criminal trial. Last week, a jury of 12 New Yorkers plus six alternates were chosen to decide Trump's fate. Yeah, we're just hours away now. He's been charged with falsifying business records to hide an alleged affair ahead of the 2016 presidential election. CBS News correspondent Wendy Gillette has more from what to expect outside that courthouse in New York. Prosecutors in Manhattan are getting ready to present their case against former President Donald Trump to a panel of seven men and five women jurors. The judge wants us to, to go as fast as possible. The former president faces 34 counts of falsifying business records. Prosecutors accuse him of funneling hush money through former lawyer Michael Cohen to adult film star Stormy Daniels to hide an alleged affair before the 2016 presidential election. Trump denies the affair and has pleaded not guilty. This is really a concerted witch hunt. CBS News has learned the prosecution is expected to call former National Enquirer publisher David Pecker as its first witness as soon as today. He's expected to testify about an alleged catch-and-kill scheme to purchase negative stories about Trump during the campaign and suppress them. Other prosecution witnesses include Michael Cohen and Stormy Daniels. The former president has also said he'd like to testify in his own defense. He has made so many po social media posts that in cross-examination, he could be shown to be totally inconsistent. I would never put him on the witness stand if he were my client. The trial has kept Trump from the campaign trail. I think we're going to have to just do a rain check. I'm so sad. A planned return to the stage over the weekend in North Carolina was thwarted by bad weather. Today, another New York judge will hear arguments in a civil fraud case regarding former President Trump's business dealings in New York. The state's attorney general, Letitia James, has asked that judge to reject a $175 million bond in that case out of financial concerns for the company that holds that bond. Mr. Trump has appealed the order to pay $460 million in that case after the judge ruled that he misrepresented the value of his assets.